Welcome to Part of My Imagination. I'm Imagination and you're the Imaginers. Welcome if this is your first time. My name is Jasmine and welcome back if this is your second or third or how many times you clicked on my channel. Welcome. Today I'm going to be doing my March TBR. Um, I just got back from doing some book shopping. So you'll see me in this outfit again for a book haul. So be on the lookout for that. And yeah, let's just get into it. I don't know why I had to say that. I'm random. Anyways, uh, <laughs> um, I have 10 books here. Not to include Le Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. If you don't know, I'm doing a year-long read. I ain't going to lie to y'all. It is the 20... What's today? The 25th? Today's 25th of February, and I have not read a single page. And I didn't even finish the pages I was supposed to read last month. So I'm behind on that. So, fun fact. But, yes, I am doing a year-long read of Les Miserables. I'm not going to include that in the books that I'm reading because... But anyways, the first book that I have is The Kingdom by Jess Rothenberg. Uh, Wesley actually picked this book out for me. And from what I read to him, it's basically about this android that works, lives in this, uh, like, theme park. Yeah, it's a fantasy theme park where guests come to, like, enjoy the virtual experience or whatever. And she ends up falling in love with this boy named Owen or man, boy, I don't know if he's a boy or man, I don't know, but anyways, she falls in love with him, and then he ends up going missing, so then she gets charged with murder, and that's what the story is following, and I don't know, has anyone ever read this, because I haven't heard many things about it, I just, every time I see it, I see the cover, and I want to pick it up, because it's giving me sci-fi vibes, all right, the next book I have is Vicious by V.E. Schwab, this is on my I think it's the series that I want to read in 2023. It's on one of those, so I'll have it. I'll have the playlist linked down below of all the books that I want to read, focus books that I want to read for 2023. Um, I'll have that link down in the description because I can't actually remember which one I have. I just know that I have this on some list. But this is basically following um, two roommates that Victor and Eli, who essentially come up with. A way to become immortal. And then somehow, some way after they find that out, they end up hitting each other's guts. So they, like, take it out on each other. And they try, they're, try they like, trying to kill each other. Um, but this is a duology. I've had this on my shelves for years now. And I want to and have been trying to get through all of the Schwab's books. And I think the only series completely that I've read of hers is the Darker Shade of Magic series. So I'm behind the curve. The next book I have is My Grandmother Asked Me to Tell You She's Sorry by Frederick Bachman. I have no idea what this book is about. Um, I just know it's Frederick Bachman and I own it and I haven't read it yet. And I was going to read The Winners, but The Winners are super thick and I'm not ready for that emotional heartbreak yet. So, baby, I don't think I turned my mic on. It's on. Never mind. I, I was scared for a second. Uh, yeah. Anyways, this one is about a girl named Elsa, seven years old, diff old and different. Her grandmother is 77 years old and crazy and is standing on the balcony firing paintball guns at strangers crazy. She is also Elsa's best friend and only friend. At night, Elsa takes refuge in her grandmother's stories in the land of Almost Awake and the kingdom of Mayamas. My Mayamas? Jesus. Jesus. Where everybody is different and nobody needs to be normal. When Elsa's grandmother dies and leaves behind a series of letters apologizing to people she has wronged, Elsa's great, greatest adventure begins. Her grandmother's instructions lead her to an apartment building full of misfits, monsters, attack dogs, and old crones. But also the truth about fairy tales and kingdoms and a grandmother like no other. It's giving me everything I need because if we know one thing about Frederick Bachman, he's going to tear your heart out and put it back in. And hello, cat. Our right, next book I have is Lore by Alexandra Bracken, and this is the book that Wesley got me. I didn't show that book haul yet, but there's a book haul of me hauling this. Wesley picked it out for me randomly one day. Um, 
I was going to say something there, and then I just didn't say it. <laughs> like, you felt it? Like, I literally just, like... Man. <laughs> um, every seven years, the, Ag- the Aegon begins. As punishment for a past rebellion, nine Greek gods are forced to walk the earth as mortals. They are hunted by the descendants of ancient bloodlines, all eager to kill a god and seize their divine power and immortality. Long, It's giving what it needs to give, and I'm excited to read it. The next book I have is Descendant of the Cranes by Joan He, and this is a book that I've talked about plenty of times on my channel, and I'm finally, like, getting to it because why not, you know? Um, treason. For Princess Hasina of Yun, the palace is her home, but her father is, her father is her world. He taught her how to defend against the corruption and excesses of old kings before revolutionaries purged them and their seers and established a dynasty anew. He was supposed to teach her how to rule, except for he died. And then now she has to figure out who killed him and how to take over the kingdom. Also, look at this cover. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. All right, these next two books I have are books that Wesley picked out for me. And, of course, he would pick a book that I was just like, nah. But I'm going to read it, though, because he picked it. And, obviously, I want to read it because it's on my bookshelf. But this book actually was sent to me by Pamela Teen. This was a part of that book, the three books that I got that I was supposed to read and give away. I never got to this one, one, because I was also in school. But I never got to this one, and that's Rising Troublemaker, A Fear Fighter, Manual for Teens, Levy J. Jones. That's who he's by. Be too much, speak the, the truth, fight fear. I And it's exactly what it is. This is a nonfiction guide of how to be a fear fighter and a troublemaker. So, yeah. All right, next I have Light It Up by Kikla Magoon. Bam. Ooh, I love this cover of this other book, Jazz, how it went down. Nice. I don't know what this is about. At the end of the day, a girl is dead. Maybe it's winter, maybe... <laughs> the rest with the cable. Uh, maybe she had a black ski hat on. Maybe she was running and didn't stop when he ordered her to. Maybe she, because she had headphones in, so she didn't hear him shouting. Maybe she was late for something. Or maybe she was running simply because it was cold and dark and she was nervous to be alone on the street. It was dusty already at 4.30 p.m. When the lights flashed behind her, maybe it didn't seem unusual. Um, so Wesley picked this book because today when we went book shopping, he picked, he bought a book called Light It Up, but it wasn't this book. So he just felt like, you know, it was a sign. All right. And last, sorry, y'all, I have an ear infection. That's why I keep, you know, tickling my ears. That's what I'm doing. I'm tickling them. <laughs> um, last but certainly not least is Red Rising by Pierce Brown. And if you do, this video should be out before the vi the video. What? This video should be out before the Red Rising read-along. But if you didn't know, surprise, I'm doing a Red Rising read-along. Because Lightbringer... Is it Lightbringer or Lightbearer? No, it's Lightbringer. Lightbringer by Pierce Brown is coming out in July. Um, so I'm doing a re... <laughs> I'm doing a reread. Sorry, my cat is just like swiping her... Swiking? Swiping her arm underneath the door trying to get out. Um, but yeah... Um, Lightbringer is coming out in July, so I'm trying to read all of the books before the book comes out. And I actually have not read Dark Age, and I know you're going to be like, Ah, Jasmine, isn't your favorite series? How did you not read it? I've read some of it. I've got about halfway through it, and then I just kind of stopped because I was in a reading slump. A really long time now that I'm not in a reading slump I'm gonna read it again and I'm probably gonna read my paperbacks and tab them up oh, I should probably tell you what it's about if you don't know what this book is about I'm just gonna read this tiny blurb and that's all I'm giving you because I've talked about this book enough on my channel that you can probably find a video of me talking about this book so you can learn about it anyways his wife taken his people enslaved, driven by a longing for justice and the, mis the memory of lost love, Darrow will stop at nothing to bring down his enemies, even if he must become one of them to do so. And I feel like that's all you need is giving everything that it needs to give. Whew. Excuse me. But yes, if you want to read along, be on the lookout and I will have a, bro a breakdown of how I'm reading the books going forward so yeah 
And last, but certainly not least, is Spy Family, volume number two by Tatsuya Endo. Endo? I read the first volume this month, actually. And I don't hate me, don't cover me, but it was okay. I know everybody raved about it, but it was it was just like, it just kind of seemed redundant. Like, they were kept playing on the fact that, like, he just kept emphasizing, like, I'm a spy. Why am I doing this? Like, this is mediocre shit. Why am I doing this? I'm a spy. Over and over again. And I was like, okay, we get it. You're a spy and you are having to do things outside of the realm of being a top fucking sought after spy. But, like, get over it. And, like, and I know that she's a child, but I don't like to miscommunicate. I'm going into, anyways, I'm reading the second volume because... It should get better. I know people rave about it, and there's t- there's a manga for it or an anime, so obviously it's good. But I'm just waiting to get to the part that I'm going to enjoy. So, volume two. Okay, these are all the ten books that I'm going to be reading for March. So, if you want to read any of these books with me, um, feel free to re- comment down below. Reach out to me on Instagram or Twitter. I'm still on Twitter, even though I might not be actively tweeting. I am still on there, I promise you. <laughs> and, yeah. This is it. But, and that's all that I have for you guys today. Be sure to check out my description where you can find easy ways to contact me as well as all the books and videos that I talked about. If you liked this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if not, just imagine that you did and come back again. Until next time, keep imagining.